Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2435, which is listed as a super hard level and they are not lying. We've got 22 moves to collect three ingredients. Now, if I can get just over 60,000 points, I can get a color bomb to appear on the board. But my primary objective here is to get these ingredients down to here. That's tough to do because not only do I have all this licorice in the way, but these are not set up to be on the right track. Uh, we don't ever have them along this line here. There are a few things we can do to try to encourage them to show up there, but it takes a little bit of work, and I know that I want a good setup. I can make a couple of stripes here, but I don't think that's a good setup for this board. The good news is that I can exit without losing any lives, and if I did choose to bring in boosters, which I very well may do before this is over, I wouldn't lose any boosters as long as I don't take that first turn. Once I take that first turn, I'm committed for lives and boosters. I still don't like this board, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and meet you back here when I find a good one. Okay, I like this. I actually have two moves that I like. This one would take out three licorice, uh, but this will still take out two and make a wrapped candy along here. So I'm going to go for hopefully a better payoff with this. Yeah, I like that a lot. Look at all that licorice we're getting rid of. And now I've got this onto the conveyor belt. Nice. I like this move, but I'm just double checking everything else. There are a few other good moves I could make, but I want to make a hole right through here. Okay, I'm going to bring this down close to the conveyor. Now, if I can move this over, that's what I want to do. It's going to be a really tough thing to try to navigate. So I'm not actually expecting that to happen. Let's bring some blue down here. Oh, stink. Here we go. We got this. Now I'll show you the other way to try to get this to happen. So see how I've got this in this little elbow here? If I could remove this, then this would have an opportunity to slide in. If I just remove this, this could come this way. But if I remove both, then we should get enough of a draw. It all depends on how things fall together for us but I can't. So I just have to ignore it for now and look for a better opportunity. Hmm. Okay, and then I look. Can I move this over? Well, not in the right direction, so that doesn't work. But I can try to get more orange down here to clear this out, potentially. Uh, I'm actually going to put this on the conveyor. I was trying to figure out a way to get these set up together and I couldn't figure it out. If I could take this out, but I can't. So let's keep looking. Let's make some moves up here. Ooh, no. Mm. Yeah, that did not work. Okay. So few moves, and I still have... Oh, that was not enough. I still have another candy to bring down. So, not likely to happen. I mean, pretty well impossible at this point, right? So, we've seen what needs to happen, but we've also seen how absolutely difficult it is to get even close, even with a fairly good setup. I've gotten where I've collected two of these without boosters, but I have not been able to get any farther than that, and I've played this through 25 times. That was my 25th attempt with looking for a good setup. So I think what it's time for me to do is pause the recording and go equip my helmet. Now, I'd actually rather bring in the um, coconut wheel, I think, but I'm going to try the helmet. And the reason is, oops, hello, with the helmet, all I have to do is play three games in a row that are easy, levels that are easy, so I can come in with a striped, a raft, a color bomb, and three extra moves, and they don't need to be replenished. They don't use up my stores. So I'm going to go ahead and collect the helmet, and I'll meet you back here with a good board. 
Okay, so not only do I have my helmet, but I also have these two lined up. That wasn't an accident. I waited until I got a good board, and that's hopefully going to take out almost all of the licorice. Plus, it left me with a little something here in the tank, and I've got both of these down right away. So that's the kind of move I was looking for. Now, that's not so great. Let's get rid of that licorice. This is where I would try to take this out if I could. I can't. I'm still going to struggle with this board, I can tell. Now, if I could make some upset here, but again, I, I really can't. This would put, well, I'm going to go for it anyway. It's going to change things, even if it doesn't blow things up the way I want. Okay. So can I move this over? No. Nor can I move that. So those are stuck. But I started out with a, a fairly good setup, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get things th run through here pretty quickly now. Ah, uh, sure, let's make another wrapped. Oh, I like this. Actually, no, I'll get rid of the licorice instead, because I, if I can make moves directly down here, that might help things. Oh, look at this. One more move, and I hope to get that to work. Okay, so I need to clear this out. I can do that this way or this way. But this way is a more sure thing. And I don't have time to wait for something that's not a sure thing. So now I have 12 moves to bring another ingredient onto the board. I'm going to do it this way. I cannot move that over. Cannot make a color bomb. That stripe is not going to be positioned well for me. Cannot move this over, but I can make a stripe that might, nope, or might not. Ooh, look at how beautiful that is. Okay, ah, oh, stink. I need to blow this up right now. I can probably blow it up with that assistance. Yeah. So we do this. That's one more ingredient gone. Now I still have this ingredient, which is going to be difficult. Got that. There we go. We got it. And that was my first playthrough with boosters. Remember, I brought in a helmet and I got the assistance of the color bomb. Now, there are a lot of different ways to do this. Actually, I think the easiest way is using switch hands. If you've got a load of switch hands, then... Oh, hello, that's a new kind of little thing. If you've got a load of switch hands, then you can probably do this even more efficiently without, without as much nervousness like I had. Blow up that licorice and then just bring those over and down the center. That's how I choose to beat it. You can be upset with me for using boosters, but my motto is, if you've got something that is particularly difficult, booster up, baby. You're given the boosters on the board for these levels, these levels that are listed as super hard and that live up to their name. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.